In this video by Brownells, we'll be taking a look at how suppressors work, their advantages, and applications. To understand how a suppressor works, we first need to take a look at the various noises generated when a firearm is discharged. The first being mechanical noise. That's the noise generated when the firearm is cycled. The second and loudest noise is the result of the muzzle blast, which is when the hot gases rapidly expand behind the bullet exiting the barrel. The final source comes from the bullet itself. Bullets traveling at velocities above the speed of sound, roughly 1,100 feet per second, can create a supersonic crack similar to the sonic boom of a jet aircraft as it passes through the sound barrier. So now that we've identified the sources of noise when a firearm is discharged, how do we reduce those sounds? There's very little we can do to reduce the noise of the cycling of the action. However, muzzle blast and the supersonic crack of the bullet can be addressed with the use of a suppressor. Suppressors work much like a muffler on a car. They contain a series of baffles that control the expansion of the gases and allow them to depressurize and cool before exiting with reduced energy and noise. Another way to think about it is like popping a balloon. When all that pressurized air is rapidly released, it leaves an audible report. However, when we slowly release the air, it makes little to no noise at all. As an example, let's take a listen to a 300 blackout AR-15 fired with and without a suppressor using subsonic ammunition. Now that we've addressed the muzzle blast with the suppressor, the next issue is the supersonic crack of the bullet. Many shooters use subsonic ammunition to maximize the effectiveness of their suppressor. Subsonic ammunition is loaded to operate at speeds lower than the speed of sound, therefore eliminating the crack associated with supersonic rounds. Again, let's take a listen. As you can hear, using subsonic ammo eliminates the crack produced by supersonic ammo and helps further reduce the sound signature of the firearm. Now that we've explained the how, next is the why. Contrary to popular belief, suppressors are legal in the majority of states and have substantial practical applications. First and most obvious is hearing protection and personal safety. Even with the use of conventional means of protection, such as earplugs or earmuffs, repeated exposure to very loud noises puts you at risk for permanent hearing damage. For example, a 45 ACP 1911 or a 16-inch 556 AR-15 both produce approximately 165 decibels. According to OSHA, hearing safe limits for impulsive or impact sounds are below 140 decibels. Many conventional means of hearing protection only reduce the sound to the minimum safe level of 140 decibels, resulting in noise that is right at the OSHA safe limit. However, a suppressor can reduce 165 decibel sound by 30 decibels or more, lowering the report below the OSHA hearing safe limits. Without a suppressor, the shooter would have to use both a set of earplugs and a set of earmuffs to achieve the same noise reduction. That brings us to our second advantage, communication. You can speak and be heard while shooting a suppressed firearm. For military and law enforcement, the communication advantage is obvious. However, recreational shooters also benefit from being able to communicate while shooting. Communication is key when instructing new shooters. Conventional hearing protection, like earplugs or earmuffs, requires an instructor to speak very loudly to communicate with the shooter. Earmuffs or plugs also mute your surroundings and make you less aware of your environment. The third reason is muzzle flash. A lesser known advantage of suppressors is their inherent benefit of virtually eliminating muzzle flash. This has obvious applications within law enforcement, but again, it is advantageous for civilian use in both sporting and self-defense applications. Protecting your natural night vision is important no matter if you're defending your family or even legally hunting varmints in low light conditions. A fifth benefit is reduced recoil and muzzle flip that both lead to increased accuracy potential and better follow-up shots. Muzzle rise is also reduced and the weight of the suppressor on the muzzle helps reduce muzzle flip. Suppressors also greatly benefit hunters. Many elect not to wear hearing protection because it limits their ability to locate game and fellow hunters. Not wearing hearing protection exposes them to dangerously high sound levels. The use of suppressors allows hunters to still be able to locate game without jeopardizing their hearing. Suppressors are basic safety equipment that help improve shooting for yourself and those around you. They are legal to own in most states so long as you comply with the various local and federal laws regarding their use. 